Hey, it's me. I wanted to share some thoughts with you about how the spiritual world and our physical world influence each other. It's something that's not talked about as much, but I think it's really important for understanding our lives. So let's talk about how the spirit world affects our lives on earth. There are spiritual realms all over the universe, in different planets, star systems, and even the spaces between them. Here on earth, we also have different spiritual layers from the lowest to the highest. Unlike how we think about distance in the physical world, in the spiritual world, many spiritual realms can exist in the same physical place and even overlap. So for example, two people sitting in the same room can be connected to different spiritual realms based on their own spiritual development. Now that can be hard to imagine because for us, distance is about space. In the spiritual world, however, it's not the same. Each person is connected to a spiritual realm that matches their overall spiritual growth. Since no one on earth is perfectly spiritually developed, our connections can change based on our moods and our thoughts. When your mood shifts, the energy from your soul, subconscious and conscious mind can connect you to a different spiritual realm. So if you remember in our last chat, we talked about the higher self, lower self, and the mask self. Everyone has the first two, and most people have the mask self to some degree as well. When the higher self is free from the lower self, it connects automatically with the highest and most beautiful spiritual realms, even though we're still living on earth. When the lower self is stronger and hides the higher self, we connect with darker forces based on our attitudes and development. So this means one person's lower self might be relatively lower than another's. Each spiritual realm is filled with spirits that match its level of development. So we're always in contact with spirits of different spiritual levels and the energies they bring. Some people blame evil spirits when their lower self takes over, thinking they're not responsible. That's not entirely true. While evil spirits can exist and can influence us, it only happens if we allow it by not working on our spiritual growth and by taking the easy way out. Even small faults matter because the more spiritually developed you are, the more responsible you are for growing yourself. Comparing your faults to others isn't fair or in service to you because you can't judge your own spiritual development compared to someone else's. Instead of blaming evil spirits, remember that higher spiritual beings can guide and help you if you have the right attitude inside and are open to their guidance. Wherever you are, there are various spirit beings around you, each with different levels of development. The spiritual world is much more specialized than our physical world. Each of us attracts spirits that match our own qualities, whether good or bad, quote unquote, good or bad. As you grow spiritually, guardian spirits who follow divine laws can guide you if you seek truth and strive to grow. If you don't, they stay back and watch. At the same time, spirits from the darker realms are also around, waiting for you to let them influence you by exploiting your faults, like selfishness or anger. It's important to recognize that your own faults attract these spirits. To get rid of them, you need to work on overcoming your faults. First, you have to acknowledge them, which many people find hard because they don't want to face uncomfortable truths about themselves. Most people only admit they have faults superficially, but true healing requires fully understanding and accepting them. By being honest with yourself and facing your faults, you can weaken the negative spirits. If you ignore your true feelings and hide behind a mask self, these negative influences grow stronger in your subconscious. And this can lead to emotional sickness because you're living a lie. You're not being true to who you really are. To stay true to yourself, you need to be aware of your lower self and not let it control you. When you're honest about your emotions and motives, you can see the difference between your true self and the mask self. And this awareness helps you connect with your higher self and move closer 
to your true spiritual reality. But yeah, it's a tough path. Facing your lower self and removing the mask is the only way to achieve true peace and happiness. I hope these ideas resonated with you and help you in some way on your spiritual journey. Till next time, love you. Let's connect soon.